application that we submitted in December of 1999, a long time ago. Then in July of 2021, we were fortunate enough to receive a conditional license from the state. It took a long time, they went through a long process. Once we received that, li that conditional license, we took on the project of finding a city that, were, that were, we could work with, that we wanted to partner with. And we identified Markham for a lot of reasons. Part of the reasons were the demographics, the, the, the wonderful traffic flow, the interstates that everyone out here knows and loves. But bigger than that was the personality of the city. And we reached out to Derek Champion, became good friends with him over time. Derek and I were just reviewing that we've known each other for almost two years now through this process. <laughs> it's been a long time. And we each have a couple of private jokes we use from time to time as well. But Derek introduced us to Mayor Apawa, and Mayor has been so generous. We, we also got to know the mayor very well over that two year period. And he introduced us to his entire administration, his city council, the mayor was so kind to come out to a couple of our other operations across the country, and we had a chance to show him how we run businesses and how we partner with communities. And, and this is what I think brought us together in the partnership between Body and Mind and the city of Markham with Mayor Apawa. I think you know one of the things that we, we always pitch when we come to a new community is how we plan to integrate with the community and partner. And, and we like to refer to ourselves as a community-minded cannabis company, and we'd like to practice what we say. So after that meeting, and almost two years of courtship, the city of Markham approved our application to, to locate here. And we were very thankful for that. So we want to thank the city of Markham for welcoming us to the community and approving our application. And I want to run through a couple of specific thank yous here. First of all, I want to specifically thank Mayor Akawa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything you've done. Today. <laughs> I want to thank specifically Derek Campion for shepherding our, our whole process, getting everyone together. I want to thank the entire city council, every alderman, alderman, yes. and the city treasurer, everyone who's played a role. I want to thank Senator Harris for coming out here today to sponsor us, support us. He's been a big part of our, our process in both cities that we're working with to open up our stores. And then finally, I want to thank our body and mind staff our managers, our, our directors, everyone who worked hard to make this project come to fruition. I want to thank uh, Brianna, our general manager over there in the orange top. And, and Mr. Nick Haynes, uh, next to her, he's our director of retail operations in the, in the whole country. So thank you. Now with that, I'm going to hand the microphone over to Senator Harris to say a couple of, of nice words. How's everybody doing? All right. How's everybody doing? All right. All right. 
Yeah, there you go. So this is a grand opening. I'm so proud to be here today, uh, working alongside uh, with Body and Mind, uh, as well as my good friend Mira Pagua and uh, uh, the Alderman here, who had the vision to form a partnership to bring business back to the community. And it was important what Tripp said about partnership. It's important that we allocate and bring business to our community that not only is going to support our community, but that's going to be there for our community when our community is in need and be a good partner. So I want to thank BAM, the entire staff, uh, the Alderman, and everyone who had a hand in this process. And I'm so glad that Tripp said my name earlier because I was going to say, you want to thank myself <laughs> as well as my colleagues down in the General Assembly for passing legislation to allow these types of things to happen. You know, uh, we know that the war on drugs have been disproportionately affected African American communities and communities of color. And this is something that we hope, hopefully down the line, will continue to help strengthen those relationships and bring back equity as it relates to minorities in the space of cannabis. Uh, so once again, I'm thankful for all who had a part of this. Uh, let's cut the ribbon. Uh, let's have a great time. Let's encourage people to shop local and let's enjoy BAM and Body and Mind as they uh, become partners in our community. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. My uh, piece of paper is smaller than yours. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the reason why the senator was kind of getting you all to cheer on, he's a former football star, so he does that much better than us, getting people fired up. But let me thank everybody for coming out as well. And a lot of times there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes that people don't know about. And that's how these things become what they are. We look at these buildings and we wonder what happens, but there's a lot of things that happen. So I want to thank some people. Thanks, uh, Trip, for talking about the jury because some of the things that we had to do as legislators at City Hall was get understanding to be able to explain what these businesses are. I mean, uh, for me, and like Trip said, my journey was to go to different facilities to see how they function and how they operate. Uh, with no hair or gray hair, um, we think different sometimes. So times change, and it may take us a minute sometimes to understand or catch up. And so we have to go back and explain that to our constituents to, to under, so they understand what dispensaries are and how they help. And for me, my podiatrist actually helped me because I have cannabis type oil that I put on my legs now. So, you know, for my legs to, to that hurt me. So you find out the, the uses of different things and they have terminology they use and they call some of their clients or, or constituents here the patients and things like that. So it's so important that we get that message out about how effective these places are and certainly I think the senator and for his legislation in Springfield that helps us all see that revenue in our communities, black and brown communities are starting to be able to have those same benefits as others. But let me say thank you to uh, Tripp and Bam about the community partnership that they have and the things that they do with our parks and the things that they're doing in the community as well. Those things mean so much and we can start to learn and educate our people more and more. Um, the relationship is just great. Again, I want to personally thank our city council and I'm going to yes. mention them as well. Uh, thank you so much. Before I mention your name, we have Shanika Leach who is uh, on the uh, planning and zoning. And I have to mention her and our chairman, uh, Commissioner um, Lucicia Franklin of the Planning and Zoning Board. Now before these things get passed, they have to be zoned. And before we get a chance at city council to make a decision, they have to go their way. So the understanding starts there in the planning process. So I thank them. They, they, they come out and they work tirelessly to help businesses behind the scenes. But let me just start with Senior Alderman Barron. Thank you for your service and what you're doing to make these things uh, possible. And I know that we, he's worked very closely here in the shopping center with the, the BAM staff. All the McDowell, this is her ward. Thank you for what you're doing as well. We thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I will go with all Lady Hampton. Thank you and Alderman Bertrand. There's one Alderman that is not here that support us. Alderman Jones, Rondo Jones, who served the, the city 20 years. He's not here but he was part of the process and we thank him. But I always tell everybody that if we don't thank the clerk and the treasurer, nothing happens. <laughs> because they pay the bills and they sign everything. So 
Thank you, Melinda Richardson, for her service, and to that treasure, Leslie Trammell, who's our clerk. They make sure the documents move, so we're grateful for them. But listen, we have a great future. We know where we're going. Police and fire department, they've worked as well. Please, our men in blue, support them and say thank you to them as well. Thank you very much. They're going to keep this center and this city safe, and we thank you for all that. But let's get about the business of opening and cutting this ribbon. This is the time. Thank you. Go. All right. All right. Yeah. And I'm and wait on my cue. And go. <laughs>